Hey, Dylan. The three amigos meet again. Never has more trouble been created by three people. Uh, one second. So, Nova, you want to facilitate the meeting? Sure. Hello again. Can you hear us? Can you hear him, Dylan? Uh, I don't think I've heard anything yet. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah. Hello again. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think you and I have eight hours in between us, so it's not the easiest thing to meet. <laughs> Must be, what, nine o'clock your, your end? Yeah, this is okay for me. Okay, cool. I don't mind. Perfect. Okay, well, um, yeah, I probably won't be available the next two days. I'm taking a two-day course on the weekend here, but I'll be around after that for a couple of weeks with pretty much lots of time on my hands. Uh, so I guess one thing we could talk about is like uh, the email I got from you, uh, I don't totally understand. It sounds like you're able to connect to some some of it, but not all of it or something. No. Um... The FTP login info that you gave me does not work. I'm still getting some kind of um, permissions error, but uh, the original info that you gave me to just go to the domain, the .NET domain, and uh, just start the process where I could sign in as Elijah. Yep. Um, so I could check out the mock account and kind of walk through the steps of the what you have built so far. Um, and that way I just have an idea of um, how everything flows, all the different screens and how I could design the user interface. So I just started in Photoshop and um, yeah, I mean, I can, you know, a lot of the images and different things I can just pull right over since I've already figured out how to lay it out and then I can just coat the rest. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so I started on the landing page slash login page and I did kind of a mock layout with that and I could show that to you guys right now. Awesome. Um, okay. I'll uh, make you host. Yeah, awesome. one second, yep. Lighting. Okay. Need a drum roll. You guys see anything? Uh, yeah, just your file folder. You don't see an image? Not yet. No, you're probably going to have to share, change the screen that you're sharing. Yeah, you yeah, I'm doing that right now. Do you see the image? Nope. Okay. Anything yet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Very nice. Yeah. So, and I mean, I just, this is kind of quickly thrown up with some stuff that I already had. I didn't really look up to find any many new photos. Like the, I'm not huge on the light source on the left, top left, but. Um, that was just something that I had that I just kind of threw in there for some extra color than just like a white or kind of golden white light sources seeing the sun normally. Um, 
so anyway the planetary guardians um you know and i like showing images of the earth but uh the the image you guys had already was like a uh, like an image of a nebula or something and so i just thought it would be kind of cool to just show like a picture of the earth um you know with kind of the name planetary guardians to kind of look at the whole planet um and then yeah it's just uh, a background of space and there's a few overlays of different lighting effects um uh, and then um, the box in the center, just kind of the normal, something similar to what you had before a box with like the username and password. And, and this, it, <clears throat> I think defaulting to login is probably a, a, a decent idea because most people that are gonna access this are already gonna have an account or re-accessing. So, but if you click on the arrow button, like facing down, then it would open in a, uh, swap either you can click on login or sign up and then it, under the sign up it gives you a different layout of um, all the info needed to sign up and then on the right um, I kind of find it useful just to have it on like all screens as like a, like a settings tab or something that you can pull up that kind of helps you navigate through the whole site um, no matter where you are so I have like a little gear there in the bottom right um, for settings. And then that's just a little pop-up box if you were to click on it um, with, you can go back to the login or sign out, um, which would initially both take you back to this landing page. So you could log in or sign out, sign up. Um, and then the, <clears throat> there's profile account information, which could kind of put, I was thinking it would be kind of cool to do that like on the same page for the same screen but you could click on a button and then it will open up a different layout just for settings. Um, and, you know, that's fairly common, but, and then the other one I threw in there was uh, help or contact support. So like a um, how to or FAQ list. Um, and then uh, also like a way to contact support if something's malfunctioning. So that was just kind of three things I kind of thought would be good in a in general like settings kind of thing for the moment I haven't thought of kind of what else to put but that's pretty much it for this page or this screen the blue arrow underneath the login what is that what would you yeah so if you were to click on that it, right below that and that's the I have two screens so far or two versions for this screen one has the pop-up box um, on the bottom right for the settings the other one doesn't but the third one I would do where I would open up that area where you click on the blue button and it's a pull down or a drop down that would then give you like a uh, two buttons, like one for sign up um, and then one for login. So you could kind of switch from this layout to the sign up mm -hmm. would drop down and you would have the uh, all the fields for input to start an account. So basically it's, it defaults to log in, but if you click on the button, then at the top of that, the, the drop down would be log in and sign up buttons. And then if you click on sign up, then it drops like the field below that with all the input stuff. I think it looks really good. So, the next screen uh, mock-up I was going to work on is the profile screen slash uh, account information screen. Sorry, I'm eating like a pop. Screen. That's all good. The, the screen uh, that you would see when after you logged in is what you're saying, right? Uh, yeah, the profile screen. I think that was the second screen I got to was Elijah's profile screen once I logged in. Yep. So that's the one I'll, I'm starting on. And uh, yeah, I'll do a couple, two or three versions of that, but I'll show you the drop down thing for this as well. I just haven't done that version. I guess too, with the profile screen, um, 
the, the regular user is just a, literally a profile and a link to, to the next mission. But the facilitator's profile screen is also has the, you know, the, the interface of how to set up the next mission and, and monitor things and manage their team members and stuff. So is that, is, is Elijah a facilitator? Did I see that on his screen? Yeah, we're using him as an example of a facilitator, yeah. Okay. So if you log in as me, uh, you'll just see the regular users kind of view that we had going on. Uh, but yeah, the facilitator has quite a few functions that we need to make work. But. And then we have the administrator who would be having 12 facilitators. So then there's another screen above that that's kind okay. of at the, at the level of the organization that's that's kind of controlling the 12 facilitators mm -hmm. at the higher level. Like if you haven't gone too far on any of those, I would recommend first just mocking up uh, what you think like the regular user, like my screen would look like. And then from there, we can just use the same theme to, to do, build out the other two would, would be my suggestion. Yeah, it would kind of be nice to know the extra features of the, the highest level and then the mid level. And then I could kind of fit them all in, design it all, and then just minimize from there. That way it's part of the whole layout templated for any, any page. Okay. Um, so but I mean, I can always, you know, like I said, it's it's either this or that. It just, if I kind of know all the things before I template something, then I can mm -hmm. kind of figure out how to keep, yeah, the whole template the same and just take certain stuff out where it'll still look good. Okay, well, that's something I could do. Um, I can figure that out. Okay. Um, but yeah, I guess I, I'll just start with what I see on the Elijah facilitator profile and use that info. And, um, it seems like I did have some other ideas of different stuff to add and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put some stuff on there and just throw it out whenever I do the mock-up. Yes, too. Um, Elijah's kind of informed me lately that we do have an impending deadline that we're kind of looking at at this point now, where we kind of finalize when when we want this thing to be finished, I guess. There's a window of about three weeks where we're still at the design level for the next module in the next three weeks. So within the next three weeks, it can be designed right into the course, um, but it would sort of have to be sort of ready to test out and, and have them confident to use them. So. I th you know, we get, we either do it or we don't, you know, it's just. Well, yeah, but if, yeah, if we want to get Liz the, the 144 people to test this for us, we got to have it pretty much, I'd yeah. say, polished and finished within two weeks would be nice. Yeah. That sounds like a lot. If I, no, no offense, but I've only seen the first step, like kind of even partially thought through. So, I mean, to me, that's most of the work is or a good portion of the work is still going through the conceptual steps and getting those processes and values and or lens, all the different parts of each step really well thought out um, for how they might use it. So then it's like super useful to them. Well, we spent, uh, we did flush that out in our last meeting with me and Nova. So we do have that part. Um, okay. I'll, we need to get that, I'll, I, I need to put that in a nice form for you. Um, okay. So that, you know, I'll just, because of that, I know a lot of the, the stuff is on my my plate or maybe Nova's too for a bit of design, but I will go focused to get this to you ASAP. So, so you can do, so you at least you have some time to work on it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. If I kind of understand what's, uh, yeah, what, what all content needs to be on each screen or each step, um, then I can just start templating things out. You know, even if it's like, I can, <clears throat> I'm, I'm guessing that what I saw in the screen for the first step is gonna be somewhat similar or at least templated wise, but I don't know all the content or if there's any other tools or, anything else relevant for the other steps other than well you know like, go I'm ahead just, i'm wondering if perhaps i mean maybe you don't work this way but um given that we can't you know we got to compile those screens the last screen or the main chat screen is the main functional screen right and that one's pretty much flushed out 
in terms of we've already done it. Can you work on that while we just get the the, the rest of the screens ready for you? Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess the the biggest thing is if I if there's any other like big differences in the other screens, and I could kind of. Mm -hmm factor that into the overall template design to where it would kind of fit but i mean i don't i don't have to so it's just yeah i mean if you if you have that info ready by the time i start working on that but i still got to work through the profile account screen next um as far as like mocking it up and um i've been really busy lately um but next week i should not be as busy so I'd be able to spend some more time on it. And I mean, I should be able to get through the mock-up um, designs for, you know, for the landing page, for the profile page or screen and for um, the chat room within okay. or by, like, I'm thinking by next week and I should have that pretty well thought out with what I can see and look at right now. And then, yeah, whatever changes to the other steps for the chat room kind of screen and we'll figure those out when you've got the con or the information ready. Because I think that one thing that we came through was uh, Nova was pretty really good in terms of looking at each step that there, there was an adaption to the chat room that was specific to the conversation type and what was needed in that chat room to occur. So mm -hmm. I, mean, I think that's probably after the fact, right? Once the, the front end's done, then Nova's going to play with the inside of the chat room to make those things happen, right, Nova? Um, yeah, I think that's mostly what it is. We need to, you know, the mechanics that uh, we're, we're, we're going to build in is um, there is some visual stuff to it, but uh, basically we just need a, a, a decent looking responsive chat room at this point, and then I can fiddle the rest of the stuff in as it goes. And like once we have, because um, we're going to have uh, the, their, the entire seven step process of what they're doing is going to fold over seven weeks is our plan. So if we can get even the first the first step and the second step kind of ready. Yeah, okay. okay. You, That's cool. We'll be okay. We'll have a week to go to add the next mechanic, another week to add the next mechanic, et cetera. Wow, that's that's kind of cool. So yeah, I'd be really interested if, to at least hear the first two steps of like all the content and the differences, like basically kind of what's going on and how those steps, uh, how the process works. Yeah, um, yeah. I think we could probably walk you through what we thought about. What do you, what do you think, Elijah? Sure. Yeah. I have the, all, our, all, all our notes. If you want me to take the lead on it. Uh. Yeah. 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 Why don't we go through the whole seven and, and get uh, Dylan's feedback on it? And uh, yeah, uh, Dylan, you're also like in, in our initial conversation. You seem like pretty interested in in like that sort of end of it too. And like, so I thought maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I didn't know you guys had a meeting on that. <clears throat> Yeah, no, we kind of just jumped onto the, the meeting the other day about it, but uh, let me get more. Can you make me the host real quick, Elijah? Uh, I think Dylan has to, don't you? Or is that? I don't know. Or, or maybe yeah. you have to give up being the host. How do you do that? I think you, I think you might right click to my name, maybe, maybe make me the host. I think if, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super important. Yep. I just have one thing I can show it at least. Okay, you're the host now, Nova. Okay. Uh, so I'm a paper person kind of guy, like paper, paper and pencil. So, <laughs> but we uh, talked about this. Obviously, it needs to be. I don't know. Can you see me when I zoom in like this? Can you see the zooming? Uh, no, I'm not seeing any zooming. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, well, I'll just quickly kind of walk through. I can read it. I have my, my actual notes here. Um, and I'm, I'm busy actually like fleshing it out into something that can be more easily explained. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there's seven steps. Uh, we get, we've given them different names over the time that we've talked about this for now. I think we've kind of settled on uh, ideation, assessment, debate, definition, 
prioritization, alignment, and appointment. Um, so you kind of, you, you basically saw already the ideation phase that we had. Uh, the mechanic that we added was the support buttons. Um, and, you know, visually how that looked was, was mostly there. Um, and, and the actual look of the thing that you already saw, that's, you know, you're welcome to, to, to give us a new look for it. But basically, whatever look we're going to go with is most of it's going to stay the same. Just the stuff in the middle will sometimes have a bit of a, a flair to it or, or something different, right? A support button, for example. Um, but basically, just mechanically, um, the first stage here was the, basically just a brainstorming. They're going to be talking about what they want to do. Um, specifically, this Lysiel example, um, I think the idea is the first week they're just going to be brainstorming what kind of their overall mission is for their group, their overall like function, goal, uh, life, you know, or you know, what their focus is as a group going forward with Lysiel. Um, so they're going to, it's just going to be, you know, an open discussion. People are going to throw out ideas to say, I don't like that. I like this. We should do this. We should do that. And then they have their support button um, the whole time. So people can support the things they like. And eventually after the hour or less finishes, uh, there's going to be a bunch of thoughts or, or, or posts that are well supported and they're going to be uh, on, they get attached to the bottom. Um, but essentially there's a bunch of posts that are supported, the amount of support ports and all that kind of stuff is recorded in the database for next time. Then week two happens. Um, those same those same main like most supported thoughts uh, basically get popped up in front of the group when, when it starts uh, one after another and the, each of the group members um, will see their own version of it and some some metrics, some scales basically. So for perhaps they will see like difficulty and implementation scale. Um, a reward versus, you know, investment scale and a something else scale. So they can kind of assess and gauge, you know, which idea is better with some metrics that the facilitator is going to use. So they can name those gauges, whatever they want, but essentially there's going to be some up and down scrolly things that people can set from one to 10. And, you know, and then the whole time they can also talk about it during the thing, uh, during the meeting. So they kind of argue for their points, et cetera. And uh, starting with the most supported thing from the last one, that's the first to appear. And if it's much more supported than the other ones, it'll be given more time automatically by the system. But basically the top five or whatever is gonna be divided into the hour that they have. And people are gonna be able to discuss it. There's a little timer that, that goes down perhaps. And uh, when it, each person decides, oh, that I think this is a seven, I think this is a three, I think this is a five. And the other guys gives it some other numbers. By the end of that first uh, ideation, point it'll be just averaged out so uh, by that whole finish of the first uh sorry the second um discussion they'll have all their ideas from the first discussion kind of weighted with some weighted gauges so they're that's what we're calling it the assessment stage um then going on to the third stage we're calling it the debate stage perhaps um basically at this point they're all about um they're discussing the ones they already have out there they can see um, you know, they can see, oh, hold on, going back, sorry, for going back for a second, um, while they're also adjusting the scales and stuff, each person, they can also um, add a pro or a con to these things. So by the time that second week's discussion is finished, these things have a, an average scale based on all the user's input, and also some pros and cons attached to each one that people kind of pointed out there. Um, and this is just going off memory, Elijah, of what we talked about and kind of where we were at in, in my mind. Uh, in the third week, we're calling it perhaps debate or conscious uh, choice. And this, or sorry, consensus choice. And this point, uh, this, this one may run over time. We're gonna, hopefully people are gonna be aware of that and we're gonna let them know that week three may go over time if they can't agree on something because the idea is that this is the point where the group chooses once and for all what they're gonna be going forward on. Like which of these ideas, as far as a mission goal or as far as a focus, a main focus for their group, which one are they gonna pick and stick with? So it's it's basically just a consensus choice. So they can talk, they can debate it as far as the discussion goes. And then they can, each person can click on the one they like and they can change it during the discussion to this one or to that one. And until everyone agrees on the same one, uh, it just continues. And if someone drops out because they have to leave, their vote disappears and the remaining people have to finish by consensus. 
So that one's fairly simple mechanically. They're just basically deciding which of those things that they've that they've ideated and assessed, which are they actually going to agree on. Um, and then the next week would be week four, uh, where they define, basically they define what that mission is. So they have already the one they decided from last week, it pops up with the, you know, it's kind of the focus of the conversation. Again, just like all of them, they can, they can talk. It's basically looks like a chat room otherwise. Um, but the idea in this one is they are going to be uh, looking at first steps that they can do and like say, uh, oh, we need to build a website. Oh, we need to do some research on this. You know, uh, we need to reach out to this group, whatever it might be, gather some uh, physical materials, whatever. And the other part of it is to actually create sub goals or goals for the actual mission. So like if they're gonna, if their mission is to protect old growth, growth forests, uh, perhaps one of their goals is to, um, you know, secure uh, 1,000 hectares of old growth forest in a in a trust or something. And, and another goal would be, you know, to have a, to acquire or to to kind of amass 100 uh, influencers on TikTok to to support the the movement or something like this. So they're basically just throwing out ideas, and then some of them are are determined as first steps, like build a website, research this. They're kind of on the bottom of the whole group uh, pyramid of activity that's going to happen going forward. And the others are the goals. They're kind of right under the mission and the rest of the kind of the mentally is, is fogged out. So by the end of that one, they're going to have a bunch of first steps and a bunch of goals, uh, kind of like finished goals for succeeding at their overall mission. So that's why they're going to be defining those things. That's kind of why we're calling it the definition. The only mechanic I thought we needed in there was perhaps support buttons, perhaps not. Uh, but basically the idea that they can designate one of the ideas either as a first step kind of activity or as a goal to, to finish with, because they're, they're two opposites of the scale. And perhaps people can support the ones they like. So there's some sort of, again, prioritized uh, decisions that are made. And going into level five or week five discussion uh, would be, I think we we're calling it prioritization. Uh, in this one, uh, let's see, basically, yeah, the most, the ones that are supported the most from the fifth from the fourth one, uh, the first steps, um, they're, they come up first again, and they're sort of, uh, everything is prioritized. So do we need the website first? Do we need this first? Do we need that first? That sort of stuff is discussed and prioritized. And again, it's just, people can go, you know, one, two, three, each of them, uh, something like that, like label them one to five, the most important one first. And then based on the average of what everyone's picked, it kind of lists them in a priority. Uh, and, and highlights the most important ones. Uh, and then going into week six, uh, that's the synergy wheel. I don't know if you've seen that or not. That's one of the maps that Elijah's created. Uh, the synergy wheel would appear and uh, basically it's divided into 10 different circles of uh, activity or circles of domain for, for the group itself. Um, you could call them marketing, research, stuff like that. I think there's, there's different names depending on, on the, the group that we're using. But basically, uh, the first steps or, or actual activities like create a website, research this, et cetera, people can start dragging and dropping those into the 10 spots. So say, oh, well, this one's going to need some research. We're going to need some marketing here. You know, we're going to need some networking, whatever it might be. Um, so by the end of that one, again, based on averages and, you know, uh, if seven people think that this one's going to have research, it's, you know, definitely going to have research. If one person thinks it's going to have this, maybe it will. So there's a bit of waiting happening there, but basically by the end of it, all the all the activities of the group that they've decided on are going to be kind of divided into uh, what kind of things to be focused on or what kind of pieces uh, are going to have to be uh, you know acted upon to create those things. Uh, and then the seventh level is appointment. So uh, the synergy wheel comes up again. And starting with the circle on the top, because it's 10 circles around a, a middle circle is what it looks like. So starting with the one at the top, uh, everyone nominates someone to be the representative of that group for say the research or whatever it might be. Um, the people that are nominated, uh, you, then there's a quick vote. Uh, Whoever gets the most votes, et cetera. If there's a tie, we can figure something out there. But basically someone is nominated and voted into the the representation of that circle. Then the, the wheel turns once, the next circle turns again, circle, and by the time they're done, all 10 uh, positions on the wheel have been assigned a, 
a leader or a representative for their group. And it doesn't mean that that person's in charge of all the, uh, all the research or all the marketing or something like that. It basically means they're, they're the research representative for their team. Um, because I think we probably mentioned before, like there's, there's 12 groups of 12. And part of the idea of this is after this seven step thing, um, those groups are gonna cross pollinate, for example, all the, each, each team we're, is gonna have a research representative, right? Each team is gonna have a marketing representative. So by taking all 12 marketing representatives, there's another cross pollination team created there of all the marketing people that connect together all the teams so that the marketing can be synergized, et cetera. Uh, and anyway, on, and that happens on all of the 10 things. So that's where that kind of comes into effect. Uh, but that, I'm not sure is I think what we talked about yesterday. Yep, yep, no. Very, very well done there. So your thoughts, Dylan? That sounds cool. Yeah, let's, let's get it working. <laughs> no, no, no red flags in terms of, uh, I mean, the process sounds sort of within human range of possibility. Yeah, I was almost thinking like, once you get through those seven steps, like, um, yeah is there is there anything else or or do you at least like um say the group's still going and do they check in like on the stuff that they're working on you know so is there something that would facilitate the kind of the ongoing because it's going to take a little bit of time for like people to get on all those tasks and then kind of like check up with each other on like you know where they're at with those tasks or you know basically where you could log in and see where everybody's at there's updates and it's kind of uniform in some way based on you know what they all kind of chose or ended up with after the seventh step yeah you, you know, like after the seven weeks is set up yeah I think, I think there'd be two possibilities in terms of i'm not sure with lisiel on how they're framing it is we would be doing like building a shared knowledge community as the software's program's main thing, LCL's the test. Um, I think we would build another seven to go to the next seven. Yeah. It's, it makes sense just to keep going, right? And just come up with the next pieces of the puzzle. And I think also there's a, Reich has a really good project management system that I've sort of inflow matrixed. So I've already yeah. languaged it to the synergy wheel. So I think also there would be a jump into a project management system where now you would you would take, you would go more into the active role of running the project because that, you know, like you say, there's a heck of a lot to do once you've got it set up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that's that's a good term, yeah. And I've seen some of those, There's there are some big apps out there or, you know, web, web apps that, um, yeah. you know, are focused on project management that sound pretty thorough. This Reich one, if you want to take a look, W R I K E. Uh huh. And it's uh, it's sweet. Okay. Yeah, there's also Basecamp, there's Trello, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there are. The thing is, so they think, don't yeah, color code yeah. their file folders. <laughs> like it, the, the one mm -hmm. thing that I need them to do just to do my simple little inflow matrix stuff, and they don't even do it. So that Reich was the first one I could actually file folder, and you can go down to any depth. There isn't like a, a stoppage. So it's, mm. anyway. Yeah, I think as far as Lissiel goes, um, and this may be it for us as, as far as like the software they're gonna be rolling out specifically for them. We're gonna yeah. do this piece and this and this will become one product that our, you know, our group can offer. Okay. And, and yeah, like you say, there's, there's stuff to come before it even, but there's definitely lots of stuff after because yeah. they go through the seven week process, they figure out what they're gonna do, how they're gonna do it, who's gonna do what, and then boom, it's over. Well, definitely needs to be more than that. So this is kind of one piece of the puzzle that yeah. we're, we're basically well, going to offer. If we move through this quickly and it's working out, then maybe just like a some kind of basic utility that they could it they could at least use um, that you know gives them updates on kind of where they're at, or they can almost like post info or you know and kind of comment to the other person's reply, just so they have like a, a way to communicate um using this that's fairly simple but it would at least help them through those steps with uh um knowing who's doing what 
where they're at with it and you know kind of a timeline for working on it is basics well I, I think hopefully that once we got them going the idea yeah. is that they, they would be running it themselves right they'd be programming the chat rooms themselves so you're right we, we'd leave, the, leave them with the program that they then would utilize in whatever manner they need yeah okay yeah. So that, these that, groups may end up on Reich or doing something offline themselves or organizing in some other way. But yeah, yeah. I mean, there's. I just thought I, I guess, not knowing fully what you guys want to do with this program, but to me, like, kind of getting the energy going and focus between a group of people, and then like you know helping them through the whole process of co-creating, like you know, to fruition. So, and yeah. it sounds like, yeah, having some sort of um, project management update kind of features, or they're going to at least need it, you know, it would help them. I mean, you can always just email, but um, that way everybody can kind of see where everybody else is at with stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway, just. I think it needs to have a whole system that we create after this, but it's a matter yeah, yeah, of whether yeah. Or you're interested or not I, I see like what we're trying to do here the seven seven step process is like sort of like a guided decision making discussion platform so a company or organization or a group like this can take can take a group of people and say what do we want to do how are we going to do it you know uh, who's going to do what and then by the time they're done they have their kind of business plan figured out their mission whatever they want and it's like a, a tool that they would use but it wouldn't be the complete software tool for their whole company or anything it, it would it would handle the the kind of like this this process that we're taking them through, like all the way from ideation, brainstorming to like, yeah. okay, we figured out what we're going to do. We figure out how to define it. Now who's going to do what? Okay, we're ready. And then what happens after that is is, is up to some other tools, to some, you know, et cetera. But I would love to. Okay, build, no, that's cool. Part of this too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's fine. I I didn't know what the like the goal of this or kind of you know are you stacking different kind of tools together you know but this is the start so this is a good place to start and uh yeah just think through it and do it really well yeah yeah exactly and we have uh and and then there is right there is you know base camp trello a lot of that stuff out there and they're pretty high end and yeah. well you know produced and marketed so to compete with them probably is not going to work but i don't think anyone or very many people have what we're what we're offering here in in this kind of compartmentalized system of, of seven steps or whatever and like originally like we could do this all in one day or one weekend with a, with a group as well if they just go through the different steps you know they could do all seven missions at once if they really wanted okay and like spend 16 hours over a weekend for a company to, to figure out what they're doing for example yeah so it's, I think it's a tool we can roll out for other purposes as well, but it's as a standalone product, as a standalone thing that can help people, I think it's it's fairly unique. Well, just, just the fact to take any group through a process of different convo types that can be programmed. I mean, that just doesn't exist. So that to me yeah. is... That, and, and there's, there's so many levels of options and, and customization that can happen to this after we're finished too, that we can... We can yeah, I... I was going to say you could go into a lot more detail with this um but yeah it's just all like kind of building it testing it letting others test it and then you can kind of learn you know how you can make it even better but it, from what you just went over it sounds like it, it would be pretty useful for sure and you know i, I like the flow of it um so yeah cool so what else has to be discussed? Um, well, there's obviously the connection stuff. That's yeah. Really able to connect. Um, we've got the, the new GoDaddy uh, account set up as well. And it's weird. I've, I've got planetary uh, guardians.net connected to the new server here, but it's still coming up with a 500 error. And yeah, I can try right now and see what it says. It's not generating any errors either. It's weird. Hmm. 
So what program are you using to connect to the server? Uh, FileZilla. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, okay. I guess there's two things happening right now. Uh, we need to figure out one is the connection, get you connected. So, it's, you know, obviously you can work with the files easier and everything. And the second part is just, uh, I don't know, can we set another meeting right now? Because we're, we're starting to get closer to deadline stuff. Maybe we should have another meeting in a few days and then one more a week from now or something, if, if you guys can, can do that. Yeah, I'm I'd, I'd like to, two uh, maybe Sunday night? Uh, for me, it's Friday right now. Maybe Monday, uh, Monday night? Your Monday? Okay, hold on, sorry. Is it Thursday for you right now? It's Thursday for me right now. Okay, I can do Sunday, your Sunday, because that's my Monday. Okay. You want to do Sunday, Dylan? That's fine. Okay. Around the same time? Does that work? One o'clock? Yeah, um, six o'clock my time. Yeah, yeah, that's six fine. Yeah. Okay. Sunday, okay. And what I'll do is I'll aim to have the, all the other pages finished. Okay, so... Um... I, I, I got files they'll open and just put in all the info and I got a pop up that says uh, says host name does ma not match certificate. Maybe I maybe know. I just typoed it. Hold on, <laughs> checking. Well, I'll make you the host again too if you need to share something I can. Maybe I can see what's happening too, but just try it again. Maybe as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, let me try to screen share it. And oh, maybe stop recording now, Elijah. So you're going to get our server passwords and stuff going on here. 